Leonor with LDM Cooks. Hola, es Leonor con LDM Cooks y ahora voy a hacer, voy a, a darles mi opinión de esta suscripción que yo hice de Martha y Marley Spoon. I'm going to give you my review on Martha and Marley Spoon. Uh, this is my, this, um, this is my third week into it. Uh, and I, so far I've been pretty happy with all their stuff. Esta es mi tercera semana de la suscripción de este servicio y básicamente estoy bien contenta con la calidad de, de, de ingredientes que ellos le dan. En la primera orden me mandaron esta bolsita. En la primera orden, they sent me this um, really cute tote. You know, it's small, so if you want to have to go to the grocery store. So let's start with um, one of the recipes that I got on my um, on this week's order. Vamos a empezar con una de las recetas que recibí esta semana. This week's order is um, oven fry, uh, I'm sorry, oven beef and broccoli stir fry. Uh, and as you can see it comes with this really nice recipe card. It's pretty big. It's 8 and a half by 11. And in the back it has um, the steps. So it tells you what they send. Eh, la orden viene con una tarjeta de receta que le da las instrucciones en inglés de las cosas que están incluidas y cómo hacer la receta. Es paso por paso y todo está en inglés. Um, as you can see, it tells you what they send and what you need. So basically, um, on this recipe, all I need was salt, and that's for the rice that they sent. And it tells you the tools that you need to use and um, basically the steps of what you're supposed to do. So let's start it. Let's get started. Okay. So I already chop my red my vegetables and they send you a full onion. They send you the broccoli. Um, they send you the garlic. They send you the again the broccoli and um, this is the beef. Um, I didn't use the mirin sauce because my family doesn't like mirin. So I just went ahead and, uh, well actually mirin is kind of soy sauce but it's with other ingredients on it. And then um, I already started to marinate it. They also sent me a piece of ginger. Eh, me mandaron un pedazo de jengibre con la broccoli, el ajo, la cebolla y, y básicamente la carne y ya mariné la carne y les voy a enseñar las otras cosas que vienen let me show you the rest of the stuff that they so the rest of the ingredients come in little um, bottles like this um, that you can you know reuse on recycle or recycle them uh, and this one came with the mirin which is like a like a sweet um, oil I'm sorry, then the tamari, which is like soy sauce base, and then the toasted sesame seed oil, and that's for um, if you want to do stir fry. And then it also came with the sesame seeds. So since my family is a little picky, I probably may not use the sesame seeds. And that's what I like about their stuff that you can actually cook it to your family's taste. They do provide you with everything, but you don't have to use it. Uh, lo que me gusta de ellos es de que le mandan todos los ingredientes en esas botellitas y están todos los ingredientes como ve está el aceite de, de sésame, el tamarín y esta mirin y las, el ajonjolí que le mandan para la receta. Lo bueno de ellos es que usted no tiene que usar todas las cosas que ellos le mandan, sino que nada más lo que a usted le guste. Si a su familia no le gustan unos ingredientes, no lo usa. So, um, I went ahead and I said, uh, I went ahead and I already prepped my stuff. And I am not going to actually bake it on the recipe. They ask you to mix everything and broil it. Uh, and, you know, that's just for easiness. You know of of um, doing it I guess is I, I figured actually what I've timed is that most recipes take about 30 minutes 
Uh, lo que yo he calculado es de que las recetas se tardan 30 minutos aproximadamente en hacer. Eh, yo no lo voy a, a poner en el horno como ellos dicen, sino que yo lo voy a cocinar sobre la estufa. So the first thing that I did is um, I went ahead and instead of using my stove top, I'm going, I'm putting my steam, my rice to steam. Um, so I put it on my um, on my uh, steamer. So I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna let it cook while I cook the beef. Este puse todo el arroz en mi arrocera para que se cociera en lo que yo estaba voy a hacer la otra carne. So let's get started. So I went ahead and got my wok, and I'm gonna go ahead and use some oil here. Just, you know, a little bit. And my um, stove does put a high heat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and start stir frying part of the onions. And my family is not so keen on the garlic, so, I mean, they like it, but, you know, not too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just put one piece of garlic in there. Go ahead and put it in here. like with the unused ingredients I just save them because um, I started with three orders um, three meals per week but you know we what I ended up doing is I ended up um, keeping two protein meals per week and then I'll just do the rest on my own like pasta and stuff but so I'm just gonna go ahead and save my garlic here I Peel and I can save it for another time. Just put it in the refrigerator. And again, everybody has their own way of doing stir fry. This is the way I do mine. That you notice is that the beef usually puts out a lot of water and I notice that if you let it sit on the water your beef is usually going to be tough so what I do is I end up removing the excess liquid but don't worry we're gonna use it when we um, flavor and stir fry the vegetables because what I do is I stir fry the beef first because it takes longer to cook and I don't want my vegetables to be soggy. So I constantly stir it, you know, obviously so it doesn't stick.
so my beef is brown now. It's you know nice color. It's cooked through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put it into my clean pan, and then I'm gonna start um, doing this vegetables. And this is what I was talking about. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pour it again. Como les había dicho al principio, guardé el juguito de la carne y lo voy a poner en la broccoli. Le pongo un poquito de agua para no ponerle tanto aceite. I'm just going to put a little bit more water so I don't have to use so much oil. And then what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and cover it so it can steam for a minute or so. Oh, and my rice is done. Mi arroz ya se acaba de terminar. Así es que vamos a ver cómo quedó. Y este es el arroz. This is the rice that they sent. Oh. Hopefully my lens didn't get fogged up. No. El arroz es jazmín. They send you some jasmine rice and I just go ahead and steam it and it's ready to go. Ya estuvo el arroz, ya listo para comer, así es que ya va a estar la carne. Vamos a ponerla de regreso, ya está la carne, que ya está cocinada y se está cocinando la broccoli. my dog inside. And again, you adjust to taste according to your family's taste. And it's almost there. I want the beef and the broccoli to kind of get in there and get the flavor. So I'm stirring it. I am going to go ahead and use a little bit more soy sauce on my end. And again, you don't need salt because soy sauce is already very salty.
put a little bit more of water. And my beef broccoli is done. Turn the heat off. Turn my fan off so you guys can see it. Here is the meal. Oops, sorry. There is the meal. It's all done. So it took 30 minutes and we're ready to have lunch. Okay, now that we're done, I'm just going to go ahead and try it. And uh, it looks pretty good. Mm, good. That was a broccoli. Perfectly crunchy. The beef is tender, which means they have really good quality ingredients. So again, um, really like Marley Spoon. I think I'm going to continue with their subscriptions. Um, I think that they're. I'm gonna take my glasses off because <laughs> I have to read. Um, I think their ingredients are really good quality. Um, the protein that I ordered so far has been really good. We got in shrimp, pork chops, um, beef. We have gotten pasta dishes. Um, so all of the protein has been really good quality. The pork chops we got were really tender, really, really good. And the beef is really tender too. So, so far I'm really good. I give them high marks. And the price is not bad. I I think our price is like 76 bucks I think for two meals but it's for four people so if you break it down it's a pretty good deal better than going out for a restaurant and especially for me I, I really hate takeout um, so I really like the fact that I can come home I know what I'm gonna cook that day it takes me half an hour and my family has really good tasting food um, not the junk, I can, I can control the ingredients, I can control the salt, the fat. Um, so I feel like you can pretty you, you can eat pretty healthy with it. They have all kinds of recipes, so um, I encourage you to try them out. I'm a busy mom, just like most of you guys, or dads, or whoever working professional. So try it out, you won't be disappointed. And um, they have meals, I think, for two and, and family meals, so go ahead and try them out. Thanks for watching and I'll um, catch with you next time. Uh, les estaba diciendo que me gusta mucho los ingredientes que tienen, buena calidad. La carne que, veni que ha venido con las recetas siempre ha sido muy blandita. Eh, eh, hemos ordenado puerco o cerdo, como dependiendo del país que, que, que usted sea. La carne de res ha sido muy blandita, el cerdo también. Eh, Trae pasta, camarones, tienen muchos, muchos, muchos platos. Yo sé que está aquí en los Estados Unidos solamente, pero es muy buena, es muy buena calidad y el precio no está mal. Son como 76 dólares por semana por dos, por dos recetas. Pero cada receta, este, es, es, alcanza para cuatro personas. O sea, de que... Si tiene la madre, el padre, los dos hijos o, o madre, padre o hijo, lo que sea, puede guardar lo que sobre. También tienen un plan de que es solamente para dos personas. Así es que puede, si usted es soltero, puede ordenarla y lo que le sobre puede llevárselo para el almuerzo, a su trabajo, al siguiente día. Así es que no es, no es mala calidad y se lo recomiendo. Gracias por ver mi canal y nos vemos en la próxima.